Hi, so here we are. Um, we've got a race, two races in today at the Gold Cup. It's actually the fourth day of the Gold Cup, but we've had, um, as everybody's been following, it's either too much wind or too little. But today it was just right. And I have alongside me a very good friend of mine, Mr. Peter Hirama, who's managed not only to win the first race, but you were second in the second race. So uh, at the moment, uh, miles clear of everybody. Um, and not only that, Peter, um, you of course won the first race, which is the Borgie Barson Trophy, which is um, given to the winner of the first race of the Gold Cup. So just a few words about how you managed that today. <laughs> if I knew that, uh, that, that for sure, then it would be easy to replicate that tomorrow. But, uh, yeah, we, yeah, we had good starts and uh, we had good speed. Tacked on the shifts and uh, we managed to wiggle ourselves out of the pack and then, uh, then, then we were let loose, so to say. Yeah, and uh, the waves are good for surfing downwind, weren't they? The waves are good for surfing downwind, but they're once in a while horrendous upwind. Yeah, that you really think, how am I going to get over or through yeah. this? Yeah, and I noticed on a couple of the um, um, gates you went around just behind. Um, a boat, and I think obviously it was 3 1 1 in, in the second race um, who eventually did manage to beat you. But in the first race, you went around two boats, and I saw you go wide for a while just to go through their lee, and that paid dividends, did it? Yes, you know, if you stay behind and try to try to climb over them, they'll squeeze you off, squeeze you off, squeeze yeah. you off. Yeah, and then you can let them run, run a bit low, yeah, hike, hike your eyes out. Yeah. Uh, Try to climb up. And it was Pedro that you managed to overtake on the last beat of the first race, wasn't it? And how did you manage that? It, was he not uh, sitting on you? Well, uh, <laughs> first, of course, he was smiling and waving at us when okay. he passed across uh, ahead. Uh, yeah. But um, yeah, how, how we, 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 we had super good speed. And yeah. I don't know what happened to him, but suddenly I saw him sort of drift, dribbling back in my window. Right. And then I knew we had him. He had to come up current to us, and uh, uh, the, 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 the current was ripping. Yeah. So uh, that was very good for us. And did you did you uh, learn more about the current from being here last week for the, when you won the Swedish nationals? Well, at least it gives you uh, to, to to being here it gives gives you sort of a, a, a feeling for where you are on the race course. Yeah. And, uh, and, and that, that was certainly uh, helpful. Yeah. And um, uh, from the race management point of view, were you happy with the courses today? Yes, absolutely. Um, could think that the starting line was a little bit on the short side. But, um, Possibly for the first race, we lengthened it for yeah, the second maybe race. Maybe the first race. Only. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and I think it was very, very good to shorten the the, the beat, the last beats. Because the race had been done, and yeah. uh, we were all uh, a little bit apprehensive about the weather coming. Exactly. In. Yeah. Luckily, it stayed away uh, until everybody was safely in. Yeah. But I think that was exactly the intention not to have uh, people being blown around uh, the ocean. Here. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we 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 saw the forecast, and we played safe, started early, and we had to get the two races in. But at the same time, we didn't want to compromise the Gold Cup. Um, thought of always having a long race so i mean both races were over two hours uh, for the lead boat and uh, there was I'll only i'll tell you they felt like four hours yeah, <laughs> yeah i bet yeah and uh, the, uh, the 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 back boats were only about 15 minutes behind so it wasn't as big a spread as i have seen so people were sailing well today anyway so we've got um prize giving this evening for the borgie barson trophy i hope you managed to squeeze along yeah um the uh, clyde's yacht clubs um, organizer uh, Terence Brownrigg, he couldn't be here this year, but he sent over a nice bottle of single malt Scotch whiskey. And the tradition is to fill it up, as you know, uh, if somebody, whoever wins, fills up the Borgie Barson trophy and they drink from it. But obviously, with the COVID rules these days, um, we'll leave that to your resources what you do. But uh, we hope to uh, we hope to have you there and your team uh, and see you soon. Well done again today. Right. Thank you, Peter. Thanks a lot.